Greetings and salutations. We do not have to look very long to see that the Texas judicial system is complex, ranging from court structures, types of jurisdiction, to the elaborate Texas penal code and the split higher court arrangement. The types of law adds another layer of complexity to our judicial system. There is often confusion surrounding civil law and criminal law. So, in this video, we will be differentiating between civil and criminal law and reviewing examples of each type of law. Let's begin. Civil law is a broad term referring to non-criminal law, which is often confused with criminal law. The confusion comes from the fact that civil law refers to how individual persons relate to each other, meaning civil law refers to manners between people. There are two types of legal systems in the world, common law and civil law. In a common law system, which Texas and the United States federal system utilizes, greater flexibility is granted to judges and courts. The flexibility comes from the emphasis on specific cases and less on the statutes which the statutes themselves grant this flexibility to the courts. The civil law system, however, is far stricter in that case remedies are defined by statutes. Louisiana is an example that utilizes the civil law system. Regardless of the system used, examples of civil law are Family law, which includes divorce, child custody, CPS cases, child support cases, and adoptions. And short, any law that involves the family unit is family law. There is also probate law, the estates of the deceased and guardianship of individuals. Lastly, we have real estate law, which involves land, mineral and water resources, and fixtures of the land, as an example of civil law. Again, civil law is anything that is not criminal law. Last point regarding civil law is that the highest court in Texas you can appeal in a civil case is the Texas Supreme Court. Aside from civil cases, we have criminal law. Criminal law is not the same as civil law. Criminal law governs matters in which the state prosecutes individuals for actions against another individual that is considered detriment of the society as a whole. We should note that this concept allows the state to proceed with charging an individual despite the victim's wish to press charges or not. Examples of criminal law are murder, manslaughter, assault and battery, sexual assault, misdemeanors, breaking and entering, robbery, and making terroristic threats, just to name a few. The Texas Penal Code defines and thoroughly details what acts are criminal in the great state of Texas. For criminal cases, the highest court of the state you may appeal to is the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals.
Since the Texas Penal Code details for us what acts are criminal, we can find the legal definition of murder for the state. In Title V, Chapter 19, Section 19.02 of the Texas Penal Code, it states a person commits murder if they intentionally or knowingly causes the death of an individual, intends to cause serious bodily injury, and commits an act clearly dangerous to human life that causes the death of an individual, or commits or attempts to commit a felony other than manslaughter and in the course of and the furtherance of the commission or attempt or in the immediate flight from the commission or attempt, he commits or attempts to commit an act clearly dangerous to human life that causes the death of an individual. As we consider the Texas judicial system and its complexity, let's keep in mind that civil law is not the same as criminal law. Examples of civil law are family law, probate law, and real estate law. In other words, civil law is anything that is not criminal law. Examples of criminal law, however, include murder, manslaughter, assault and battery, sexual assault, misdemeanors, breaking and entering, robbery, and making a terroristic threat. We should also keep in mind that the High Courts of Texas has different jurisdiction depending on the type of law. Here in Texas, the highest court you may appeal a civil case is the Texas Supreme Court, and the highest court of the state you may appeal a criminal case is the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals. This concludes the companion video.